Omiomi Kekakake was a famous pirate who had crossed the seven seas seven times in all his life. In his travels the pirate Omiomi Kekakake had achieved great victories and had found great treasures thanks to his great power of conviction. The truth was that no one knew the real name of the pirate Omiomi Kekakake. Over time that information was lost because everyone knew him by the words he used to beat his enemies and convince those who had something he wanted. The pirate Omiomi Kekakake had also become famous for its ferocity. When he was angry, the pirate would say, waving his hook. I do not, I do not. That you, that you. Everyone knew that, after those words. It was better to do what he asked if you did not want to take a good bump. Over time the word began to spread that the words that had given the world's most famous pirate a name were actually the words of a spell. These rumors reached the ears of Valto, a young pirate who craved the fame and wealth of Omiomi Kekakake. We'll find Omiomi Kekakake and we'll tie him in the tongue, said the pirate Valto to his crew. Thus he cannot cast his spell and we will make all his riches and his fame. The pirate Bullock went for the pirate Omiomi Kekakake. He found it in a port. With deceptions and bad arts he convinced him to go to the tavern to have something with him. When the pirate Omiomi Kekakake entered, the men of the pirate Bullock threw themselves on him, threw him to the ground and forced him to open his mouth. The pirate Omiomi Kekakake could not articulate a word. You are mine now, said the pirate Bullock. I will tie your tongue and you will not be able to say your famous words. You cannot stop me. When he had them all on the ground, Omiomi Kekakake tied them up with ropes and said. I did not become famous for my words, but for what came after them if they were not taken into account. You knew it and you ignored it. You have received your due. Since then the legend of the pirate Omiomi Kekakake became even more famous and his words became part of popular language, especially to warn someone of what will happen if he does not obey.